everybody. I'm Jolie Donahue, the gardening goddess, and I'm here at the home of my best friends, Catherine and Lori Bauman, and we have Mama Carolyn visiting us from Seattle. And today we're gonna talk about planting some warm season vegetables. And a great place to start, um, well first look at this amazing raised bed that they just built. And not to put you on the spot, but maybe you can say why you guys built the bed this tall. Well, we built the bed this tall because we had one that was way closer to the ground and um, everything would get compacted, our carrots would get smushed and our beets. And then also we had to kneel down to garden and having it stand up feels like I can garden a lot easily, more easily, it's more accessible. And also I think that it'll get hotter and maybe help them to warm up a little faster this year. I think that that's all super awesome. Catherine is exactly right. And these are the things that we learn through our experience and practicing gardening. And so they learn that about their site. So I'm super excited to be able to plant in this really tall bed today. So what we did here, they selected the vegetables and herbs and companion flowers that they wanted to plant in the bed. And what we did is we just started laying them out based on height. So when we're looking at this bed, the sun exposure is, this is the north side, south is there, we're looking at east over here and west. So the sun is coming up this way, it has to clear this big tree, and then it's setting over there. So that being said, we know that this is the side of the bed that is gonna get the most sun. So we're gonna put heat loving things here like peppers and cucumbers. And then we're gonna put our taller things at the back side of the bed like the tomatillo, the sunflowers, the dill, and the cosmos because those things will start to cast a shadow if they're on the sunnier side of the bed. And this family loves cilantro, so we're gonna plant that back here. Sometimes cilantro doesn't do so great in the peak heat of summer. That's why we're planting it behind the tall um, vegetables and herbs so it gets a little bit of shade during the summertime. So, and as you can see, the bed is diverse in things. It's great to have a veggie bed that has vegetables, herbs, and companion flowers. And we've decided for their bed here, the vegetables they like to grow that are big and spreading, like pumpkins and winter squash, are gonna go in their other raised beds, and the more compact plants are going to be here. Also, this is a great idea because this is the bed that's most accessible for them um, by their house. So they'll water it and harvest it the most, and then that way the plants that they're not gonna harvest till the end of the summer, like pumpkins and winter squash, will live over in the other raised beds. So thank you for watching and thank you again Bauman's for hosting us.